Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you for coming. Today's episode of Wine and Design is a little bit different because I'm not gonna be drinking wine. I actually am kind of getting over a cold, so I figured wine's probably not the best thing for me right now, but I still wanted to make this video and get it up for you guys. But um, we're sticking to water today, so that's why it's a little bit different, but welcome back and welcome to a new episode of Wine and Design. guys so if you've been watching my vlogs you know it's been quite quite a stressful time in our household lately leo got kind of sick um he has some urinary problems on top of that both samara and i are now fighting this cold um we got tested for COVID. i don't think it's that but just to be safe we did so i should find out hopefully tomorrow um, but that's been going on work's been super busy i've had like non-stop calls all week um, and when you have all that going on, when you're not feeling 100, it's a little bit, a little bit hard and exhausting. So I'm hoping just another night of sleep will make me feel really good, but, um, I'm kind of struggling today, so I might not talk a whole lot, but today's video is going to be all about logo designs. So I, I filmed a couple weeks ago, me creating a mood board for one of my clients and Basically the same client, I'm now working on her logo concept. So I'm already on the second round of revisions for her logo. And honestly, she didn't have a lot of edits. So that's super exciting. That always makes me happy because I feel like then we're on the same page and things are going really well with that. So I'm gonna be basically showing you from the very start of after she approved the mood board to me designing the concept concepts and kind of how I start that um, with her particular project she ended up telling me kind of not exactly what she wanted but it definitely helped me out um, she said she wanted some line art maybe like line art of a woman's face um, she really likes leaves and plants and all of that so it was right up my alley I felt like I really knew what to do for her so you'll see I use procreate um, which is an app on the iPad I also use Adobe Illustrator in this video and a little bit of Adobe Photoshop. So I was kind of all over the place, but when I airdrop my Procreate art, I airdrop it as a Photoshop file most of the time. And then from there, I drag it into Illustrator. So you'll see me doing that quite often. And I'm excited to show you guys this one. It's honestly one of my favorite logos I've done recently because it's like totally on brand for me as well. Um, so let's hop into the video. I'll try and chime in here once in a while when there's something i need to explain or if there's a transition to a new day new artboard that kind of stuff but um i want to rest my throat a little bit so let's hop into the video i hope you guys enjoy i hope you learn something and let's do it okay so i started off on my procreate app like i mentioned before and i was basically drawing out the element of the logo since that's pretty much the main part of it and I knew this would take me the longest part of it. Um, so sometimes I'll just pull like images of plants, um, images of people, and just like kind of combine a bunch of images together into like a line art. Um, I can definitely film a video separate from this to show you guys how I do that, but that's what I'm doing here. And then you'll see me bring it um, over into Illustrator. Sounds of tomorrow 
For these fonts, because I know you guys might be wondering, I used to do the image trace and I do that a lot still sometimes, but um, just to like understand which font the logo um, looks good with or what the client likes before purchasing them, but you can actually search the fonts on Google and sometimes there's free versions of it just so you can try it out before purchasing and then it allows you to do like the curved and like writing in the circle. So that's what I did for a lot of these. I just wanted to put that tip in there so you're not having to like um, image trace something where you want it to be curved. Send me your songs of tomorrow. I'm dying to know it all. Stories of joy and of sorrow. I'm dying to know. Oh, 
broken body Sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. After all of those concepts, I sent them over to her, and she got back to me and actually really liked. Honestly, all of them, but she picked concept two and four, I believe it was. Um, but she just gave me a few little notes here and there. Um, one of the notes that she said was she wants to see maybe the WTA capitalized, um, just some font changes, some like playing around with that. And then she also wants to see me um, play around with the other drawing of the girl and maybe just 
kind of playing around with it. She didn't really know how to express her feedback and that sometimes happens, but I feel like if you really understand your client and their business, you kind of know where to go from there. Um, and it does help to know like which one she likes and which one she's drawn to. Um, and also I didn't even send her all the colors yet. I don't really do that until we really get soon or when we really get far into which revision she likes or which concept she likes. So on this round, you're going to see that I give her every color option because that really can change their mind. Um, and then I will mock them up too at the end so she can kind of like decide off of that. But let's hop right into it. I just wanted to explain that because I know it's going to be kind of confusing because now I'm doing all the colors. But usually it's around um, the revision cycle too that I start to use all the colors. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring sorry i'm not 100 percent myself today i want wine more than anything right now because it's been a week it's been a stressful weekend and i need a glass of wine but um i know next week i'll be back and strong and we'll really have to celebrate um with a good glass of wine but um in the meantime i'm just taking this as a sign to rest and maybe take it as a sign for you to rest too that I don't know, it's just crazy that the year is quickly coming to a close. Maybe take it as a sign to rest. So that's what I'm going to do. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will definitely keep on filming this project until we complete it and finalize everything. And um, I have some exciting things coming. So I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know if you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did like this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Oh.